In this workbook, we have a list of months and the number of units that were sold each month. We want to color the cells where more units than 75 were sold or fewer than 50 units. And to do that, I'm going to use conditional formatting. I'll start by selecting all the cells where I'd like coloring to appear if they meet these conditions. So with the cells selected on the home tab of the ribbon, I'll click conditional formatting. We want to highlight cells, so click highlight cell rules, and we'll start with the ones that are greater than. It puts in a default value, which is the midpoint of these values, and instead of that, we could type 75, which is the high value that we want, but instead of typing a number here, we'll click on the cell that contains the number, and then we can change it easily later. That puts in an absolute reference to cell I1, and the default formatting here is light red, I would prefer something different, so I'll click the drop down and go with a custom format. These are high numbers, which are good, so I'm going to use a light green fill. I don't want anything too dark or I won't be able to read the numbers in the cell. Then click OK and click OK, and the high numbers are highlighted now. I'm leaving those cells selected, and next we'll do the low setting. So click Conditional Formatting, Highlight Cell Rules. This time we'll do less than. Again, it puts in that midpoint value here. We could type 50, but instead we'll click on the cell where we entered the low value. Now we have an absolute reference to cell I2, and instead of this default format, we'll click Custom Format, and these low values are things we want to watch for, so I'm going to go with a red and click OK and OK, and now the low values, if I click away from those selected cells, we can see more clearly that the low values, anything below 50, is in that light red color. If I change a value here, I could put this as 45, and now only this 21 is lower than that, so it's the only red cell left. We can also change the high, Instead of 75, we could put 65, and now we have more green cells, or make it a higher number, and we have fewer again. So by using cell references with conditional formatting, you end up with a more flexible system that you can easily change when necessary. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.